Okay, I am going to show you how you would figure out the day length and the altitude on various dates for a given location. So I actually just searched San Mateo, California latitude and I came up with this number. So I can just highlight it as I've done here and copy it and paste it in. So I'm going to do Apple C. Then I opened up Starry Night High School and I came up here and I said I'm going to go to another location latitude and longitude and I'm going to paste in my latitude and even though it says Palo Alto I'm at a slightly different latitude now um, if you paste it in something totally different you'd end up there then I've got to find the Sun so I got to double click on the Sun so that I'm zoomed in on it that's like what I'm looking at so there it is now if I go to info you can see that it rises at 819 and it sets at 553. Well, that's on December 21st. Let's make that December 21 because that's, that's the December solstice, right? So it rises at 820 and it sets at 540. So it rises a little after 8 and sets at 6. So that's 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 hours, a little bit less than 10 hours, okay? I can also hit transit here and it tells me that the altitude is 28 degrees about. So that's how I could figure out those three things on that date. And then I can just change the date here to be June. And in June it rises at 548 and it sets at 830. Much longer day makes sense. And it transits at 74 degrees. And then I can change this to equinox. September 23 rises sets should be a good 12 hours and then we have the transit here and you can look at the transit number so that's basically how you would find out that information using Starry Night High School and again you could just search the latitude um, of your place you know if it was say it was Paris Texas latitude um, and I could search through here. Here it is right down here. It tells me the latitude. So just search it, find it, and then use it in Starry Night High School.